Hey guys, how are you? It is Rob with American Angling, and today we are talking about getting started in Call of the Wild, the Angler. So we're going to dive right into this. The first thing you want to do, obviously, is make money so you can buy better gear. The easiest way to do that is follow the Grand Tour. Um, this early task will kind of follow you around the entire map, get a bunch of POIs, fast travel points, all the outposts, that way you can kind of collect all the missions and all the fast travel points to make the next piece very quick. Now once you finish this, you should be about level 16 or so with about 3,500 in credits. Now you can purchase your first upgrade. What you're going to do is grab the Jafar Rod, the Brogdon Reel, some 15 pound fluorocarbon, and you are off to catch some larger species that are worth a lot more money. Now I would heavily suggest doing the tasks in each area, and if you're curious about those, I do have some guides being made right now, but I do have a map up on the website if you're curious about that, and that's in the description down below for that. But if you aren't into grinding out tasks and want to grind out fish, I would then say go up north to Lake Cordium and fish that. That's got largemouth in it, uh, and the river system near it has smallmouth, so if you're interested in that, that medium-sized rod setup will get you going, get you a couple hundred creds per bass, basically, uh, with a size 8 spinner bait, and you can pretty much get anything you need from there. Once you have about 6k saved up, go back and you're going to get a upgraded setup. So this next upgraded setup is going to look like this. The Growier, Mediator, 44 pound fluorocarbon, and I usually will throw a size 4 spoon on this, though a one out with an extra large grub uh, does work very, very well. If you do want to do some spinning combos for um, lighter fish. What you can do is run something like the Buckley Rod, the Creo Reel, maybe four pound line, a uh, bubble, and like a size eight or 10 hook. Um, however, usually I'll start throwing all of my float stuff on that same Jafar setup um, and just kind of fill in rod combinations from there with things that you end up liking or just want to use in general. Now that you have kind of a baseline setup, these three combinations, well, let's be honest, two combinations are gonna carry you through most of the game. As far as baits, this is what you're gonna need. When it comes to catching fish with moving baits, I'm pretty much gonna throw a size eight spinner bait. That's gonna catch us largemouth, smallmouth, bluegill, perch, kokanee salmon, and our mountain whitefish. Um, you can catch rainbows on it, uh, but that goes back and forth with the next one that I'll use, which is the size 4 spoon. So that will be good for things like pike, sauger, and lake trout. Now, rainbows are kind of a catch-all fish. Um, they'll kind of bite most things. But one of the pickier ones you're going to run into is going to be the golden trout. They like either the size 8 spinnerbait or... Marshmallow. They're pretty much the only fish that really goes for marshmallow in my experience. Um, as far as float fishing goes, we're going to want bread. Um, bread with either hook, the size 8 or the size 10, depending on fish species size. Um, if you're using the size 10, you're fishing for things like bluegill. With the size 8, you're fishing for things like channel cats. So keep that in mind. But that's a pretty quick rundown on what you need to know to get started in this game. If this guide helps you out, Give me a like, give me a subscribe, have a good one, and I will see you in the next one.